Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is an absolutely massive day on FC25. We have not one, but two player SBCs coming, we think, today for two of the brightest young stars in world football. One as a player of the month, one as a road to the Knockouts player SBC. Of course, we've talked about him, but we also have a whole new promo Friday ahead with Road to the Knockouts team number two, more players coming into packs, and of course, that means more content in SBCs maybe in evolutions, and most likely in objectives as well. We have to talk about all of that, and of course, today's the beginning of Foot Champions as well, with the absolutely insane rewards, like the best Foot Champs rewards we've seen since FIFA 17, when this competition started, released, and obtainable on the game today. Everybody's going to be playing that game mode, and that's going to impact the market. There's a lot to discuss today, guys. If you're excited for it and ready for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, before we get into all the crazy content happening today, we need to take a look back at yesterday on Thursday because it'll give us a little insight on things to get ahead for today on FC25. Firstly, we had our last Team 1 Road to the Knockouts player SBC that was Ben Godfrey. Guys, this SBC is, in my opinion, a really easy one to complete and probably a must-do if you have a decent amount of fodder over the next week. You don't have to get it done right now. But this card is live. He can play center back, right back, and left back. And yeah, the stats, they have a few issues here or there. The pace split, the stamina, the composure, couple issues. But this card has every defensive play style except for anticipate. He's got roll pluses in each of his different positions. And he's only 20 eight or 29,000 coins, an 85 rated squad, which is really cheap to do. I think you valuate other SBCs above this one, but I think this one's one that you get done in the next week because he has very high potential to be evolved in the future with his alternate positions, with his play styles that he has. He's still a live card too. He could get some upgrades for Atalanta as they progress through the Champions League with wins and uh, with scoring goals in games. So I think that one for the value, even though it's not a crazy card, the price is just so good. It's one to get done. Now, we also had marquee matchups on a Thursday, as we always do. I don't think the packs in this set of marquee matchups are that great, but the biggest thing to note from this is that Greek cards are selling for 4,000 to 5,000 coins. If you have any Greek cards, bronze, silver, gold, they were all selling for crazy inflated prices yesterday. Check your clubs. They're probably still up a little bit. You can get some free coins off of that. There's something every single Thursday that goes up for marquee matchups. We love that. Thanks EA for basically letting us make free coins off of an SBC requirement. Put one in the SBC, get it done. Sell the other ones in your club. W. Now, let's go to objectives and talk about season points because, of course, on Thursdays, we get the refresh of all the weekly objectives. Not only, I want to mention this in this video too, not only the regular foot ultimate team weekly objectives like right here with this SP, but also inside of manager career mode, player career mode, and pro clubs. I didn't realize this, but this actually is a thing. There's even bi-weekly objectives in pro clubs as well. You can see here, these refresh every single week, which is allowing people to get very far ahead in this season. I even think there's people that are getting past like level 30 right now. Maybe even people are getting to this Luis Muriel or getting towards uh, the Adama Traore who's at level 38 in the season, which is absolutely crazy. But if you're doing all of the SP possible and you want to stay ahead, you, you do have to play manager and career mode, uh, player career mode to stay like super far ahead. It's not necessary, I don't think, to complete the season, especially because of all this SP that EA has dropping and there's still a lot of time left in the season. But I did want to point that out because there's continual refreshing season points inside of those other modes as well. Now, this is new SP. This is actually going to help us a lot into getting to the end of the season. 5,000 SP just for playing Rivals, Champs, and Squad Battles, playing 30 games over a two-week time period. That is really easy. That's a really easy way to get some packs. And we also had a new cosmetic evolution that is claimable. Uh, and I think it's cosmetic, so it's not kind of glitched or there's no bugs with it or anything like that. It's just it's separate from that whole situation that's going on right now uh, with the evolutions, which we'll talk about a little bit in today's video too. Play 40, win 40 to get some cool red foot champs design evolution cards right there. That was all of yesterday's Thursday content. And then of course, we had leaks. We had a big market rise yesterday as well, but we'll fit that into our market conversation and we'll talk about here a little bit later because I have big thoughts and some of those have changed over the last day of where I think the market's going to be heading today. But first, we have big SBCs coming today, guys, and they might even be dropping before 6 p.m. content. Yes, if you haven't played Ultimate Team before or you didn't play last year specifically, 
EA's got a schedule most often with these player of the months. First of all, Lamine Yamal, we finally know the answer. He is the La Liga player of the month. Between Mbappe and Lamine Yamal, he ends up winning. I think a lot of us wanted this, right? I personally wanted this. I thought Mbappe was going to win just based off of how usually the vote goes. But Lamine Yamal takes the trophy. He's first player of the month. Deserved, 100%. He's going to be getting an SBC, guys, and I think it's going to be today. Here's why. Every single time there's a La Liga player of the month, it is dropped on a Friday, and it's also dropped before 6 p.m. content. You may remember this from Premier League player of the month before in previous years of the game. We've had Premier League player of the month at like, I think it's 10 or 11 a.m. UK time, maybe even a little earlier than that. On promo Fridays, we had Kubo last year on this exact same day. We had this Kubo on the Friday of Road to the Knockouts Team 2. Guys, I think this Lamine Yamal SBC is coming today, which is crazy because that means we're going to have Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams, which is nuts. But there's no leak for the card yet. This is just predicted stats. Are they going to give him a playstyle plus? How much of an upgrade are they going to give him? What's the price of the SBC going to be? We have so many questions with this. Now, based off of Laminia Mall's inform card, which is down a lot in value, of course, because people have been selling it, probably going to go down a little bit more because this SBC, guys, I'm telling you, this SBC is so hype. After basically becoming a future star that is a real star now with the Euros, his uh, inaugural 81 rated gold card in FC 25. Now, there's so much hype for this Laminia Mall card. This card is so hype. People are willing to evolve the 81. They're dropping an SBC version of him. That's going to be a very, very, very highly completed SBC by a lot of people. Now, I'm going to guess the price of this around the 200k range because if this inform is 70,000 coins or was 80k, now 70, I think he's going to be around 200k. That's just my guess. And I do think 86 rated is probably a fair rating for this card. Now, will they give him a playstyle plus? That I see... I think that's unlikely. That's my guess. We'll have to see. But guys, I would watch out for this SBC before the content drop today, somewhere around 200,000 coins, and that's going to be huge. That's only one of the insane player SBCs that we have, though. Of course, as we saw yesterday, the leak for Nico Williams coming as a road to the knockouts SBC. Wow. I mean, this feels like the Euros all over again with Nico Williams and Laminia Mall going to be in everybody's team if these SBCs are valued correctly. The Spain La Liga links are going to go crazy. And I don't want to invest in those yet, but I want to watch those on the market today, which we'll talk about some more. Now, this Nico Williams, right? This one should be dropping at the content drop today. He's going to be more expensive, in my opinion, than Lamine Yamal because, of course, he is live and upgrading. And actually, Athletic Club won yesterday 2-0. They've scored in both their games, so they're two out of four games they need to score in for a plus one overall for Nico Williams. And they only have one win towards the three that they need for another plus one for him. So he's on track for some decent upgrades in the Europa League competition as they played yesterday, but he's going to be cracked, guys. It's not about the upgrades that he could get. It's about the card that he is in-game being so overpowered for just his 85-rated gold card with rapid plus, the pace, the dribbling, the weak foot, and the skills, everything that he has, the play styles as well. He's got a finesse shot, rapid, relentless, quick step, and tree vela. Insane play styles for his gold card. That means this one should have all of those. I don't know if they would change his playstyle plus. I don't know if they'd give him other playstyles. Usually this early in the game, they're not doing a lot of that. It should just be a stat boost. And like we saw with Jota last week, I do have my reservations on this SBC. I don't think they're going to make this Nico Williams card absolutely cracked. It's probably going to be plus ones, plus twos. They might even make the SBC seemingly a little overpriced. But for the hype meta player that Nico Williams is in combination with the Lamine Yamal, there's going to be a ton of hype for this SBC today, and a lot of people are going to want to do it, guys. Now, I think the price for this one's going to be steeper than Lamine Yamal. I'm saying 350 to 400 k That's just my guess, of course. And guys, with both Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams coming today, I think you want to sell attackers, namely wingers. Because think about it. Everybody who has a left wing, maybe a Luis Diaz in for him, maybe even like a Neymar in their team today, they're probably going to want to sell a card like that to be able to, A, afford the new card that's coming out via SBC for Nico Williams or Lamine Yamal, or B, they need to sell those cards to get money to go buy some fodder to get the SBCs done. Like, that's how hype these guys are. There's going to be movements on the market like that today, and I think it could negatively impact the market, especially on those wing-type players. So just be careful if you have wingers, because I think they might be dropping maybe early today, 
and maybe later on in the day as well after we get the content dropped. So those two SBCs today enough would be enough for content. But as I mentioned, fodder, right? You might think about, Nate, if I want to do both those SBCs, do I need fodder? You probably do. Fodder's already started to go up. 88s were 14,000 coins yesterday at Division Rivals Rewards. 87s, I believe, were 9,000 coins too. What were they? Yeah, they were 9.4K and they're starting to rise, which makes sense. I understand people buying fodder right now because of the SBCs that are coming today. I am not going to be investing in fodder personally because also we have a lot of supply coming today. I could see fodder going up early, maybe with the Laminia Mall SBC, people buying it, it goes up. But once we get foot champs going, like we're going to talk about in terms of the market today, I don't love a fodder investment to hold for long because there's going to be 84 and 85 times 10s open today. Yes, those packs that usually come out in August during like footies and stuff, those are going to be open today as a part of the crazy change in foot champs rewards that we have. So we're going to talk more market in just a second, but if you have fodder, I'd sell it early today before content, before even foot champ starts, or maybe right after a Laminium all SBC would to be coming out. Cause I could see it going up. I just don't know if it'll last. That's going to be a really interesting place to watch on the market today. Now, before we get into the market, let's talk about the promo team, team one going out of packs, team two, coming into packs. Now, this is not an official leak, but we do have a couple official cards after yesterday. But this team two, I think looks more hyped than team one. You've got, of course, crazy SBCs coming today. You've got Dybala, VVD, Harry Kane, Araujo, Kai Havertz, Julian Brandt, Garnacho, Loftus Cheek, Barcola, Santi Jimenez, Taram Malogusto. Like there's some big names even F florian balligan i didn't even know he was getting a card let's go up the usa that's a card that i'd be interested in this team too looks pretty cracked and there's some nice players in here that could be very very meta now the differenting thing about team two compared to team one takes me back to last year in fc24 when team two came out you guys maybe remember the absolutely insane market crash that we had this is vvd's official card by the way he's got 88 physical 91 defending and 81 pace so a nice upgrade there for him also a nice upgrade for dibala he's got plus threes plus twos and threes across the board for his card but last year road to the knockouts team one was not very packable, just like this Team 1 was. And then Team 2 came out. EA upped the pack weight, they added some packs to the store, and Weekend League rewards were available for the first time, and the market got absolutely destroyed. There was also insane SBCs that weekend as well. Guys, just to tell you how much the market got destroyed, this is how much it got destroyed. Musiala went from 65 k the 39,000 coins in the matter of that weekend. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen again this weekend, but the chips are starting to align for me that it looks really crazy and it looks a lot crazier than this last weekend of Road to the Knockouts Team 1. I think the biggest thing that's going to impact the market today is this team of players right here. If the pack weight for Road to the Knockouts Team 2, especially with a lot more packs being open today, there's a lot more packs being open today than there were last week. Remember, we were expecting big store packs last week. Didn't get many of them. Didn't get much tradable supply. This week, we're going to get a lot more, not from the store, but from Foot Champs Rewards, people that are spamming their games and getting them done ASAP today, especially because it's only 15 games, and they want to get the new rewards for the new team and craft the new SBCs. If these cards are packable and they're cheap, it's going to destroy the whole rest of the market if the SBC content is good alongside of it, which it looks like it's going to be. So I am going into content tradable today, or not tradable, liquid. I've got all of my coins sitting at the top right, ready to take action because I personally don't want to get stuck in anything today with the incredible SBCs that are coming or the, the hype of incredible SBCs, which the hype is up here. If the content delivers down here and there's a whole lot of market crashing before content, it could be a carbon copy of what we saw last week. It could be prices drop into content. People are opening their weekend league rewards. Then at content, we have a bit of a dip and then we just shoot straight up after that. That is exactly what happened last week. If you guys remember, cards were low at content, low right after, and then they skyrocketed because the content was just okay i just can't see a game today where the content seems okay with those two player sbcs 
that are being dropped on the game. If they hit one of those spot on, that's a really good SBC in terms of value and the other one's just okay, that's going to be insane. With the weekly rewards that are out, I think that's going to really hurt the market. But I really do think that it's the pack weight on this team too that's really going to determine whether we get a massive market crash today or whether the market just kind of has a bit of a drop off and is a little stagnant. So I'm basically what I would tell you guys to do is be careful owning anything today because I think there's going to be panic and I think... There could be more price. We'll just have to see. We really will have to see, guys. We're about to head into uncharted territory today because we have not seen how these new foot champs rewards are going to impact the market. We can try to guess how it's going to impact the market. A lot of supply and also a lot of demand at the same time. People are going to get a lot of coins. We know that. We've been talking about that. Let's say you get rank 5, which is not easy this year. You get an 82 times 10, a, ba a base hero max 87, a team of the week pack also team of the week players today let's pull up the team of the week squad really fast team of the week three these cards are going to get hurt a lot in price because these tradable team of the week packs are back in rewards specifically guys like cole palmer martinelli who i was able luckily enough to pack yesterday um pajor the middle tier even vandeman vandeman's 84 rated guys his card is going to get hurt a lot in price today same thing with militao i would sell team of the weeks too if you have them again a lot of what today's hype is based around are these rewards that so many people are going to get and especially with so much of it being tradable yeah we have a lot of supply here as you can see but we also have a lot of demand with a lot of coins so i'm really curious to see how it's going to work out i think the safest way to go about it is to have your coins liquid and available and not in a team at the moment so that you can make decisions when you get on the game um and then be able to go from there so that's my take and especially as we look at the market and kind of talk about it from yesterday too I don't think this morning is a good time to buy a team because, I mean, look, yesterday we had a market that was low heading into rivals. Every single time we've had rewards, by the way, whether it's been squad battles or whether it's been rivals, the market has gone up a ton afterwards. And the difference with weekend league rewards, foot champs rewards, and these rivals rewards is they're not all at one time. They're spread out across the whole weekend of people playing their games, getting the rewards. That's what's going to make this different, and it's going to want to make it what we really have to just look at today as a trial run. This is the first weekend to experience it, and it's going to be really tough to figure out how it's going to work just because this is the brand new rewards. They're so insane, and it's, of course, the beginning of the game. After this, we'll be able to get a swing of things or a, uh, kind of like a feel on things, but for me, I think the safe route is the way to go today just because also what do we know about promos and what do we know about gold cards every year? Gold cards never rise much after the first two weeks of the game except for some of the really top-tier meta ones. After that, it's promo cards, heroes, icons, and we're all doing evos and getting uh, other cards in our team from rewards from promos. The gold cards just get phased out. So gold cards, it's not the end of their time yet, but we're going to get closer and closer as more and more cards come out. That's why I think it really matters the supply and how cheap these new cards are today from Team 2 of Road to the Knockouts is going to impact the market. So I'm going to be liquid heading into content. I would like to do SBCs today myself, but I'm going to take the safe route just because today's going to be an absolute movie on this game. It's going to be crazy with the SBCs, with the, the Wood Champs rewards. It's going to be an absolute madness of a day. The market's probably going to be all over the place as well. And I would rather have my coins to be able to dip in for a trade or dip in for a buy that I like and not feel like I'm just hoping that it's going to go up or waiting for it to go down. So that's kind of my take on the market at the moment, wherever you find yourself in that as well. Um, drop a question down below. I'll be answering some of those there as I can, but I think the market's probably more likely to go down today than it is to go up with all the supply we're going to have. And the fact that so many people bought cards yesterday in the post rivals rewards market, why would the market continue to go up? I know we have a lot of uh, demand. I know we have a lot of coins coming on the market. I'm a little skeptical, though, with all this content. So I'll stop yapping about the market. But I do want to talk about the last things in terms of Road to Knockouts Team 2 content today. We're going to get objectives. We always get objectives. If you haven't finished the, um, what's his name? Uh, Otamendi. He's going to be going away today, which actually I haven't finished them. Probably not going to be able to. We'll probably get another player in terms of an objective player today. And then, of course, all our questions are going to be surrounding evolutions. We haven't had an Evo besides the cosmetic ones. In a couple days now because of the issues with the power surge evo will ea actually drop an evolution today or will they hold back because they're trying to figure out some of that stuff i really hope they drop evos promo fridays are almost always giving us evolutions so that's kind of what i would watch for today in terms of content on this game as well now 
I mentioned the pack supply. How do you check the pack supply? How do you check the pack probabilities? Well, I want to show you guys this here in the store as well. I know right now these promo packs are going to be set to expire, but this is what we can do today that's really easy to see if the pack weight on team two is better than team one. You can go to the store for this 50k pack. They're probably going to drop another 50k pack today in this game, right? It would make sense. What you can do is you can click R3 down on it, go over here and you can see it is right now a 2.3% chance of a UCL road to the knockouts player and it's less than 1% chance of everything else. That pack I think we can look at and then also the 170k pack because I bet they're going to drop a premium RTTK week 2 pack, change it to week 2, but basically be the same 81 times 30 pack here and we can check this out. So the 50k pack has a 2.3% chance. This one has a what is it for a UCL? An 18% chance of a UCL road to the knockouts player. Of course, that's an untradeable pack. This one is tradable for the 50K. So 2.3 and 18% on the 170K. That's kind of our baseline that we can think and remember, okay, this was team one. If that number's a good bit higher today, especially with a lot more tradable packs from, again, Foot Champs Rewards. I mentioned it there again, being opened I think it's going to impact the market. It's going to supply team two and those prices could go down. So we're going to be making quick flips on the market today. It's going to be a madness of a place. Icons and heroes are probably going to dip a little bit too with the supply we're going to have. It's going to be a movie today, guys. It's going to be a movie 100%. Last thing I want to talk about before we go is these cards right here of team one of road to the knockout. A lot of them have gone down crazy, right? Where they were yesterday with the rewards, they dipped like crazy, getting supplied, getting packed. They go out of packs today. Some of them maybe were their lowest yesterday. Maybe, honestly. Doku at 625. He's a winger though. Could be impacted by Nico Williams today. You might think that's crazy, but honestly, he could be. Alvarez, they lost. He dropped down a bunch in value. You know, some players like DeMarco, Romero, um, Frimpong, a lot of people would like to buy. I think today's craziness on the market could create some downturns in these cards and maybe, in fact, make them investable today as well. So, guys, I know I'm going crazy. I'm so excited for today. It's going to be an absolute awesome day at the same time. This content sounds insane. Hopefully, we have Player of the Month, Lamine Yamal. Hopefully, we have a great SBC for Nico Williams as well. And we're undoubtedly going to have a lot of fun today on this game. Hopefully, the other content that EA drop is great today too. But we're, of course, going to be live, getting on the market, looking at all the players that are dropped, watching prices move, trying to buy stuff when it looks good, and maybe even saying, no, we're not going to buy stuff right now because the market's dropping a ton. We'll be doing that all day today on stream. That link is down below in the description, twitch.tv slash the foot account. You can check us out there. And best of luck if you're playing foot champs today. My goodness. I know not everybody plays foot champs for sure. I get that. But this is going to be a crazy sweaty day. The beginning of the sweat for all of you guys that are playing champs. Actually, champs starts in just a couple of hours from now. So this market start might start getting really interesting early today on Friday. Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you in the stream today. If you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been made for the count. Catch you guys there. Peace out.